The battle over the DACA program continues on Capitol Hill. Today, President Trump tweeted the Deferred Action for Child Arrivals immigration plan was probably dead and blamed Democrats. But this past week, the Dreamers got a positive message from a federal court. CBS 2's Adriana Weingold joins us now with more. Adriana. Well, despite the federal court's decision to block the Trump administration from ending DACA, Dreamers we spoke with are concerned they could still be deported. Jesus and Armando Navarro came to the United States from Mexico when they were young kids. They're dreamers, recipients of delayed action for childhood arrivals. They both work and go to school, but they're both worried they might have to leave the only home they remember. I have never been to another country. I've basically lived here, and to know that one day we could get taken out of here, that breaks my heart. Jesus is studying to be an elementary school teacher, Armando a mechanic. They reapply every two years with DACA. Jesus's current DACA status expires in June. Right now we are in the limbo because we, we don't know what is going to be next if we lost everything. The DACA program has protected undocumented immigrants brought to the United States as children from being deported. The Trump administration announced the end of DACA in September, with recipients beginning to lose their status in early March. But this week, a federal court blocked the Trump administration from ending the DACA program. Trump took to Twitter blaming Democrats for the stall in talks over a potential immigration deal, saying, DACA is probably dead because the Democrats don't really want it. They just want to talk and take desperately needed money away from our military. In a second tweet a few minutes later, President Trump wrote, I as president want people coming into our country who are going to help us become strong and great again. People coming in through a system based on merit. No more lotteries. Hashtag America first. Attorney Catherine Ferrigno says the federal court's decision to block the Trump administration from ending DACA only applies to current recipients or people who have had DACA status in the past. Which is an important distinction so that people who have never had DACA do not go out and apply now because then they are sort of outing themselves to the government. Ferrigno says the federal court's decision is only temporary. The case could go all the way to the Supreme Court. Back to you.